Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mariam. Welcome back to my channel. This is the look that I prepared for you guys today. Coppery, glittery lids, blue lips, although you definitely don't have to do the blue lips if you don't want to. You could do red or nude. This look is a sort of throwback to some of the looks I used to do back when I was in high school. I used to zhuzh up my hair like this, do the dark lipstick every day, all day. That was my thing. Except, of course, I wasn't that skilled with glitter, so, you know, this is definitely a current take on that look. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This is actually a get ready with me slash tutorial because I finally have somewhere to go after filming. I am excited. I'm gonna go see a Kehlani concert and I just might meet her afterwards, but I'll keep you guys posted. Definitely let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Enjoy, I'll see you right now. I am going to start with my Maybelline Master Primer which I have been loving lately. It is so good. It's probably one of the only primers that I've tried lately that not only minimizes pores, but also mattifies the entire skin surface. And you guys know I'm very oily. Unfortunately, foundation doesn't last as long on me as it does on drier or more normal skin types, but this really does help. And it's a drugstore primer. I didn't even know that Maybelline had a primer like this. It is bomb. I just like to slap it across my face, like so. And then it keeps my makeup and my foundation lasting all night. Ooh. Next, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Some people like to uh, blend it with a brush, with one of those Kabuki brushes. Some use a beauty blender. I find that the beauty blender doesn't work as well on this foundation as a brush would, only because it kind of dilutes the pigmentation. And this foundation is so full coverage. It is so flawless. I don't want to dilute anything. I want it to work at its maximum capacity. So I'm going to use this Doll 10 spinning brush, the Lazy Man's brush, that's what Lee called it. And uh, I'm just going to buff it out. I can't talk through this though, so I'm just gonna have to listen to the brush. What I like the most about this brush is using it on my porous areas. It really does minimize the pores. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this trick. I might have mentioned in one of my older YouTube videos, but if you do circular motions along your pores, disguises them a little bit better than if you were to do other um, motions. <laughs> but this is my problem area. This is where I sort of get all of my pores. It's not really around my nose. It's more in the center of my cheek, right along my laugh lines. And this is where I really want to concentrate the spinning. For my concealer, I really want to use my shape tape, but I want to try something new. So I'm going to give this NARS Radiant Cream Concealer a try. I have custard and I have ginger. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of both. Just apply it on. You guys know I don't like to use too much, especially with uh, this Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. Really don't need a lot of concealer. All right, that's good. Oh, wait. I think the wand on this is entirely too small. This is why I always prefer my shape tape. Look at this wand. Look at it, it's huge in comparison to this teeny tiny one. I mean, of course the tiny one is great if you wanna get into the little crevices, but I far prefer the bigger wand to uh, do the overall brightening and lightening. I think the NARS Creamy Concealer sets a little bit faster than the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you don't blend it out quickly, it could very well leave a little stain or a mark that's in the shape of how you applied it. You know what I mean? It's very important to blend it out quickly. Although I know some people who just let it sit on their face forever. I don't know. It might depend on skin tone. It might depend on your skin type. For me, I'm not really used to this concealer, so I have to kind of work through it. But for you guys, I'm always willing to learn new techniques. I know a lot of you guys love this one. And I really want to know what the fuss is all about. I know what the fuss is about with the shape tape. But 
really want to familiarize myself with the NARS. I love NARS. Just a little, just a little. Like right here. I want to brighten a little bit. Ooh. The smell. This is just my guy. This is my guy. I'm keeping that Doll 10 spinning brush handy too because I am applying this over my porous areas and I will need to buff it out a little bit better so that I don't once again highlight those damn pores. Pores, where do you come from? Why pores? Yes. Yes, B. Okay, Laura, Laura Mercier. Translucent powder. This is another product that I was, this is another product that I wasn't in love with immediately. I thought that it kind of changed the color of your concealer and foundation, but I think it was the concealer and the foundation that I was using it with. Using it with my shape tape, or in this case, with the, um, NARS Creamy Concealer. I don't really think it changes it too much. Or does it? What do you guys think? I'm gonna take the big puff, the Laura Mercier puff, and I'm just gonna set my entire face with it. Just beat the entire face. Beat it. No one wants to be defeated. It's so funny, whenever I get ready anywhere, I cannot listen to music. I can't sing, I get so distracted, and it literally doubles my getting ready time. So I like to keep all music off, even though I'm a musical person and I sing all the time, but I cannot, cannot do it while I'm doing my makeup. It just is way too distracting. For my brows, I'm gonna be using Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in number five, and I'm gonna be using the Stila Waterproof Brow Color. It's a little teeny tiny marker that draws individual little brow hairs. I love this technique. It's my favorite new technique for creating full looking natural brows. Um, oh my gosh, my brows, they're so arched. They look like little triangles, literally. And I'm all about the straight brow lately. Love the straight brow. So I'm gonna try to straighten out my brow just a little. I add a little more to the arch here. And then I extend the tail higher than where the hair naturally wants to grow. Making sure I'm hitting all the sparse areas, like here, like here. What's all this sparseness? I'm gonna try to find one of my pictures from high school. I had string little brows. I don't know why, but I would pluck out my entire brow and then I would draw it back in with a black pencil. So ghetto. It was terrible. But I thought I was so hot. I thought I was the shit. I do need a little mirror. I need to come closer for this. So basically what I do is I start drawing little hairs in the little sparse areas right here. And I also like to do it here. So that this tail doesn't look so fake, you know? Looking a little bit like uh, Frida Kahlo with all this hair and all these brows. A little bit of a geisha too mixed in with that white powder. All I need is that Snapchat crown flower thing. So now that I've done my brows, now that I've plastered my face, uh, it's time for eyes. Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer from Benefit. I like to apply it right here into my crease, then I like to open up my eyes really wide and kind of just spread it. And I take a brush like this, this one's from Sephora, concealer brush, and just blend it all out. Blending it with my foundation. This is a nice primer actually, it's my first or second time using it. Not my first, it's definitely my second time using it. And I'm liking it. Yes, like this. Today I'm going for a very bronzy, very glittery eye look. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. So good, it needs another shot. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this gold to the center. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of brown, same finger, and I'm gonna just blend it into the outer portion. This product is so nice. Even if you make a mistake, it still looks good. So with this, I'm just creating a nice base for my bronzy eyeshadows, for my coppery tones to cling onto and be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more oomphy. I'm gonna use my Violet Voss Pro Palette. This is the Holy Grail Palette. And it looks like this. Oh, I look like
look what I have here. A second one. Hmm. I wonder what I should do with the second one. Be sure to follow my Snapchat, guys, Mariam NYC, for the continuation of that statement, okay? So I'm going to take this transition shade here. It's actually called transition. Circular motions, bringing it all the way into the inner corner, following the shape of my eye socket like this. See, this look is not even halfway done, but it already looks good. I think it's because of the flash palette that I used before. Just makes everything look brighter and better. Same brush, picking up hashtag this shade here. Apply it a little bit lower than the previous shade. And I'm using the same Wayne Gloss brush. I love his brushes. They're very expensive, but they're worth it. I'm gonna take the same shade, hashtag. And I'm gonna take the smudger brush from Motives. This is the perfect size for my little eyes. Okay, I'm done with that palette for the time being. Now I'm gonna whip out my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette. I'm gonna take this nice shade, Henna, using a slightly more tapered brush, same size, but a little bit more tapered. It's also a little bit more stiff. I'm gonna cover up this section. I'm gonna apply it just to the outer crease. So I'm deepening the crease. I'm just adding more colors, making it smokier, sexier because I wanna look good for tonight. I wanna look good. All right, like this. It's coming together, right? Coming together? Yes, yes, no. A little bit more henna on the lower lash line. For the lid, I'm gonna pick up this shade, Trust Fund, and I'm gonna generously apply it to my movable part of the lid. I'm gonna be using OCC's Amber Glitter. It looks like this, very beautiful. You're also gonna need a little flat brush like this and some glitter adhesive. I'm gonna use the one from Violet Voss. She is famous for her glitter adhesive. First thing that I'm going to do is apply a little bit of adhesive to the back of my hand like this. I like to apply it with my finger so that I don't get the wand dirty with the eyeshadow. Then I get it nice and tacky and start painting it to the center of the lid and spreading it Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my brush, a little bit of a Fix Plus, just so that it can pick up the glitter. Just dispersed way too much glitter into this little top here. So now I'm gonna pick up the glitter with the brush. I'm gonna apply my hand here to catch any fallout. And then I'm gonna start basically packing on that glitter. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys just a little so you can see better spreading whatever is remaining on my brush over the center so that it looks kind of blended. Does that make sense? That looks good. Then for the bottom, I'm gonna take the tip of the brush, dip it into the glitter. And then I'm going to just place it in there. Okay, that looks amazing. Next, what I'm gonna do is remove any of that excess powder. I use this brush all the time. This one's from Urban Decay. It's perfect for powder. I'm almost done with the eyes. All I have to do is put mascara, 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 and my lashes. And now I'm gonna go back to the face real quick. For the final touch on the face, I'm gonna use my Strobin Bronze Palette in collaboration with Pixie. I'm gonna pick up this shade, beautiful deep bronze shade, perfect for medium to tan skin tones. Typically, I would use the lighter shade for my skin tone or anyone who's lighter than me. But in this instance, going out at night, I want to be extra bronzy. I want to match the eye look, so I'm picking up this guy. This one is called Statuesque, actually, and it's my homage to the Statue of Liberty. When I came to this country, I was obsessed with the Statue of Liberty. I still am, and now I can see her from my room. Crazy. All right, so just warming up bronzing up that forehead. I'm also slimming it. So you see, I'm putting it kind of along my hairline, but also bringing it down. And I'm using Too Faced Mr. Right brush. I call it Mr. Big. Must be uh, 
the Sex in the City fan in me. I'm gonna sculpt a little. I'm also gonna bronze a little. Now I'm gonna pick up my strobe and sculpt brush and the shade City Kitty, this one. And now I'm gonna sweep the shade just from my nose all the way across, like this. This is where the sun hits naturally. So with bronzing powders, you want to imitate a tan. That's what I'm doing here. For my blush, I'm gonna use this ginger blush from Motives. Such a gorgeous, pretty color. Oh, oh, and what do you know? I have two of them. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this blush. Mmm, it's so nice. It really goes well with the bronzer, with the eyes. Now, before I apply my highlight, I'm gonna spray my Fix Plus to the perimeter of my face where I want my highlight to appear. I'm gonna dip my brush into my Honey Bunny highlighter right here from my Strobe and Sculpt palette, the Strobe and Contour palette. And I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit. This is a trick that I learned from Angel Mac Daddy. You guys should all follow him, he's amazing. He likes to apply his highlight right on top of his Fix Plus while it's still drying. It really makes a difference. You could really see it here. Look how blinging it is. Do you see that? Ooh, yes. Wow, shine on. I'm just gonna set my brows with this uh, Great Lash Clear Mascara. I believe it's a brow mascara. I'm gonna be using Camille Lashes by Huda Beauty. I love these because they're smaller and they're not gonna cover up all this beauteousness. So I'm gonna put them on and I'll be right back. Lashes are on and I like the look. Something else is missing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of burgundy coal liner in my waterline. Now for the lips, I wanna do something totally different. I wanna wear blue. I told you this year, I really wanna experiment more with color. I wanna step outside of my comfort zone. And I actually loved wearing these types of colors when I was in high school. I was a lot more adventurous with my makeup, so I wanna go back to that. Anyway, before I apply the lipstick, I clearly need blue liner. I don't have blue liner, so eyeliner will do. For the lipstick, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in C603. I think this is a quite rocking look. Let's bring the whole thing together. Let's take down this hair. Let me get dressed. I'm excited. What do we think, guys? This is the final look. My little homage to the 90s with the blue lipstick and uh, the teddy with the t-shirt under. You know what I'm talking about. I had so much fun doing this tutorial and getting ready with you guys. I think I'm gonna start doing more of such tutorials where I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere and I'm doing that look the same day. So let me know what you think of that idea. Let me know what you think of this look. I am excited that I got to film this. This is very different for me. Well, for my today self, but it's definitely not different from my high school self because this is how I used to dress, wear my hair, and put on my makeup every day, minus the glitter. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, for following me on my social media platforms, for showing me your support, for showing me your love. I love you guys so much. You know that. I know that. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.